Assalamu alaikum. Dear learners, in this short video, I will explain that how a state-of-the-art distributed temperature sensor utilizes fiber optic cables and a highly sensitive light receiver to measure the temperature. This distributed temperature sensor is able to sense the temperature over a long range and with accuracy of plus minus 0.1 degree Celsius. The sensor is composed of two parts where the first is the device that sends a light signal into the fiber optic cable and receives the reflections generated by the Rayleigh scattering as the light travels through the fiber optic cable. And the second part is of course the fiber optic cable itself. It is recommended to view the reference video in which I have discussed the working and construction of a fiber optic cable. Over there, I discussed that what is Rayleigh scattering and how it is responsible for reduction of intensity of the light that is traveling through the fiber optic cable. Just to summarize, whenever light travels, because of the microscopic changes in the refractive index of the medium, there are reflections at every point. Similarly, if this light is traveling through a fiber optic cable, it is being reflected at each and every point inside the fiber optic cable. These reflections will travel in the opposite direction as compared to the main direction of the light. These reflections are received by a highly sensitive receiver present at the starting point of the fiber optic cable. If we draw the frequency spectrum of this reflected light signal, then it will look like this. This graph shows that the reflected light wave will have majority of the power concentrated around the frequency that was transmitted in the first place. However, we will see certain peaks at different frequencies as well. The left side of this graph is known as the Stokes, whereas the right side is known as the Anti-Stokes. Particularly, there are two peaks in the Stokes region and two peaks in the Anti-Stokes regions. These two peaks are called the Brillouin and the Raman peaks. The Brillouin and the Raman peaks in the Anti-Stokes regions are dependent on the temperature of the point in the fiber optic cable from where the light was reflected. Specifically, the frequency at which the Brillouin peak occurs and the amplitude of the Raman peak is dependent on this temperature. Therefore, figuring out the frequency at which the Brillouin peak occurs and the amplitude of the Raman peak can tell us the temperature of the point from where the refraction occurred. As the light moves at a lightning speed, so it depends on the processing speed of the frequency analyzer that how many reflections can be processed. The reflections that are being received are continuous because they are being generated at each and every point as the light wave is moving through the fiber optic cable. Let me explain this thing by drawing an exaggerated view of what is happening inside the fiber optic cable. Let's suppose that this is a fiber optic cable in which the light will travel. I am drawing a very exaggerated view so that you can easily understand these things. And now let's suppose this is the light wave that is traveling through the fiber optic cable and it is going till the end like this. Now this is the main direction of the light. So let me use another color for the reflection. Let's suppose I am going to use a blue color. So when this light is traveling, it is being reflected at each and every point, like this. So this is the very first reflection that the receiver is going to receive when the light starts to travel. And after some time, it is going to receive a number of reflections. In fact, it, is, it will be continuously receiving reflections. But it will receive one reflection, it will process it, and until it processes the reflection completely, it cannot record the next coming reflection. Therefore, I have drawn the next reflection over here. But if we can increase the processing speed of the frequency spectrum analyzer or the related equipment, then if this reflection is being processed, then the next reflection that can be processed might be coming from this point. Now the state of the art equipment is capable of processing a reflection generated after every one meter in the fiber optic cable. This means the time taken by the light to travel one meter is required by this state of the art equipment to process a reflection. Therefore, if light has traveled 10 kilometers, then the reflections generated after every one meter can be processed by this equipment. 
and hence the temperature can be measured. Hence, in the whole length of one kilometer fiber optic cable, temperature of 10,000 points can be sensed. This type of setup can be installed in an industrial floor or anywhere where you have to monitor the temperature of a large area. Because by just using two pieces of equipment, that is the main transmitter and receiver box and the fiber optic cable, you can sense temperature of almost everywhere where the fiber optic goes. I hope you have understood that how a distributed temperature sensor works. And if you have liked this video, kindly hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.